One of the best things about being a YouTuber is really cool equipment shows up in the mail. If it's a bright red box and it says Milwaukee on it, you know it's good. But this video is not what you might think. But, so you wanna see what's inside. You sure? Can I show you what's inside? It's a porta band. Well, what's a porta band? A porta band is a portable band saw. Let's talk about this a little bit. So this video is not about the portable band saw. Now, just to give you a little back history. So back in the day when I worked in the construction trades, especially doing commercial work, working with rebar and steel, steel studs, this tool was a staple. This tool uh, was, was something that uh, was just so necessary because if you wanted to cut steel, whether it be any of those things, you could simply do it with a very small, compact, portable, handheld tool. You could cut rebar. If you were manly, you could use it with one hand. I mean, it was just, it, it just indispensable. We used it for everything. But outside of that application, you know, it really, had, it, it really isn't, I, I think it's probably hard to justify because it's not a cheap tool. And it's not a, a tool that you can be, the, really can be used for precision. You know, I mean, it was just kind of a crude cutter. But my, my man Troy from Swag Off Road, well, he's kind of changed all of that. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit while we work. We'll, we'll put this thing together here. It'll all come clear here soon. Just, just wait a few more minutes. So Troy from Swag Off Road, we, we've got, I've known him for a long time. So back in the day, when I had, a, um, I had my wrecking yard, I was doing uh, Jeep parts, selling Jeep parts, and we were take, taking lots of Wranglers apart and doing all of that. Well, Troy was just starting his business and lived just uh, down the road from me. Um, and, and we had a lot, they had, had that in common. And so we had a big metal dumpster uh, that uh, all of the scraps, you know, things we couldn't sell or damaged items because a lot of the things we, we bought were, were broken or crashed. Uh, he would come through and, and because he was building prototypes th for this being one of them for equipment, uh, for tools and different applications for off-roading and what have you, uh, he would uh, come, kind of come through and dig through the dumpster and, and uh, um, and was you know, scrounging parts and scrap metal and different things. And it was just stuff, I, I was happy to give it to him. It was just stuff that we were just selling for scrap metal anyway. And so um, I hadn't seen Troy since we moved away from there for a long, long time. He emailed me uh, just a, maybe a week or so ago and said, um, hey, uh, this is Troy. I don't know if you remember me. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, I remember who he was. And uh, he said, well, you know, my business is doing really well. And I've invented some things that, you know, something that I think you would really like. I want to send it to you as a thank you for uh, you know, helping me get started and, and being generous with your Jeep parts and all that. And I said, oh, okay, okay, that sounds, that sounds good. And uh, so, uh, so it showed up here, and that's why I'm sharing it with you here today. So that's kind of a little backstory of how I know Troy. Now, why am I featuring this video? You know, why is this something that I think is, you know, important or worthy to put on the channel? And it's not just to help Troy out. That's part of it. I've always um, went, went out of my way when I could, when possible, to help small businesses and entrepreneurs that make well, what I would consider to be exceptionally good products, um, which we'll see here in a minute. And something also that is all, you know that must be a criteria for anything that I feature like this has got to be something that's useful to the common man that's on a farm or homestead or something like that. And this I consider to be. Well, I consider it to be a game changer. You see where we're going here? You seeing the, seeing the brilliance? Let's see, I don't, I haven't done this before. We're gonna find this out together. So, here's what Troy has come up with. A very high quality stand table for the porta band. Let's see, there's a, this is red adjustment screw that goes in here. So let's put this on it. We'll, I'll talk, we'll talk a little bit about this, why this is such a big deal here in, in a minute. Once that porta band slid into place, that red knob just screws right in here. Run it up until we can feel it flush with the top of the tray. And the instructions, Troy recommended uh, checking these for alignment, that there are a set screw option here that you can put in here to adjust the tilt of the blade. There's a long one for cordless and the, the short one I guess is for the uh, corded. 
That doesn't seem necessary. I don't. It doesn't. It's not necessary here because when I'm checking it, it's it's in alignment, so everything looks really good. How brilliant is that? I mean, how brilliant is that? I mean, that is that is taking a tool, a robust, affordable tool, a really powerful bandsaw, and and making it uh, so you can utilize it uh, for precision cutting. You have a really well-made table right here, a small table. The bandsaw has got a deep throat in it there. You can cut six inches, um, probably really similar, maybe a little bit less with the table on it. You've got uh, sl slide outs here for miters. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. But I mean, that is really clever, Troy. I mean, that is a, what a useful tool because here's the problem. So most of us, if, we need, if you need to cut a piece of steel, Let's say you need to cut a piece of steel um, in half. How do you do that? Hacksaw? I mean, unless you have really specialized equipment and really specialized saws, it's not an easy thing to do. What if you need to cut a radius in steel? What if you want to cut a corner or something round, or you want to cut a piece of tubing in a precise measure at a, at a, at a 22 and a half or a 45? Uh, just, just fabulous. So let's talk about miters and cutting angles here a little bit because it just it keeps on getting better. This here is really, really cool. I think it embodies the whole, I mean, the whole philosophy of what Troy's doing. I mean, when you look at what he's building and the quality of it, I mean, I mean it's just, it's amazing. It's really everything from the hardware to the powder coating to the cadmium on the side, I mean, to the cord. I mean, it's really, really built well. So I'm, I'm not surprised that when he's sourcing parts here, you know, Troy's not making this miter gauge, it's made by the Incra, Incra, Incra rulers. I use their stuff for woodworking, but I, I, almost, I mean, you won't believe how much, you know, some people just don't get this stuff. You know, they think, well, it's a, a tool is a tool is a tool, but this is really a really good, good one. So this is a miter gauge. This is similar to what you have on your table saw, right? You know, you can change the angle and it helps you to cut everything's on there. But look at this one. I mean, the ones I have are really crummy ones that just come with my table saw or little cheap ones from tools that I have. So you've got uh, this Paul system, the hooks to the, the handle on there. Look at the nylon bushings. Look at this locking system here that, that gives you a nylon, a nice, these bearing surfaces that, that pinch as you put them in the channel. Look at the, we're not steel on steel right there. We got a nice a bearing surface with nylon on there. I mean, you want to talk about quality and I, that's impressive. I mean, that really impressed me that you could have, you know, you could have just go to, go to China and think, you know, it's just, it's just a miter gauge, right? It's not that, it's not that important, but this is not just, oh, I got the wrong one. This one goes here, I'll bet. Or here, does it go there? The handle, I'd say the ha handle's on the back. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want the washers on there. Let me... I gotta take five here. I wanna do it right. So I think I finally got it put together right. Look at this. Look at that. This is a nice piece of equipment right here. You loosen the handle you, and you can change your angle. So you see now you can cut, press, let's say I wanna cut at something, I wanna cut 22 and a half, right? I can line that up there, no guesswork. That's nice. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna use this on my table saw. So there I got my 22 and a half. Lock that in there. I can make precision cuts. Look at that from both sides. I've got the... That is really nice. Now this thing, I was wondering, well obviously that goes in there. What's this for? Where's that go? Oh, so it doesn't come out maybe. Oh, so okay, so if you wanted to have it so it doesn't come out, is that what that is for? You put that in there. Is that it? No. Oh, Troy, I'm so sorry, Troy. These you guys are very laughing at me here. I don't know what that's for. I'm gonna have to look into that. Something cool, I'm sure. Oh, and just wait. <laughs> it keeps getting better. Look at this. A foot switch? A foot switch? I didn't even know you could buy these. I would have had these from every tool that I own. So this is, um, uh, this is, he, he's, you can get these as well. Is this is a, in, I guess an interrupter there that you plug the it'll plug the, the porter band into, put on the ground. So when you want to cut something, right? You got something in your hand and you're working and you're fabricating. This is sitting down there. What do you do? You step on it. You step on it, and it's hands-free operation. I love this. 
Man, even that is nice quality. Look at this quality. Look at the size of the cord. Line Master, linemaster.com, factory direct. That is cool. I could see applications for that everywhere. It's even got rubberized skateboard tape on there. So let's see how it cuts. So the, the Milwaukee doesn't have a trigger lock on it, so you've got to put a clamp, you know, any type of a clamp you have on there, just clamp on the, on the switch. I've got the foot pedal installed, look at this. Oh, there's a light. That's, a, that's nice, I got my thing. Okay, so let's try it out, see how it cuts. I got a piece of, what do we got here? Got a piece of flat bar. Oh, it's probably all of a quarter inch, quarter inch or so, well, oh, 316, so it's thick, heavy by uh, two strap. Let's see, I mean, if you have to cut this, if you're, if you're uh, working in your shop, you're doing some fabricating, build, building a trailer, whatever, if you have to cut this and you don't have a plasma torch or, you know, big saws type of equipment to do this, how are you going to cut that? I mean, most of us have had to result with using a hacksaw, I mean, it's just not... That's okay for small jobs. I mean, hacksaw is a wonderful tool for that, but I mean, if you're doing any type of a production or you're trying to build something, a uh, trailer hitch or whatever, man, you need, a, you need the ability to cut steel. If you're doing a foundation and you need to cut rebar, you need something you know, to, that you can cut rebar with time and time again, and a hacksaw just doesn't get it done on anything with production. All right, here we go. So let's, let's square this off. Let's see how it does. That is brilliant. That really is brilliant. That is slick. That is slick. Good job, Troy. I can tell you this is gonna be a very, very welcome addition uh, to my shop. This is something that I would use all the time. And I mean, it's, it's just fabulous. And to be able to have, I, I never could really justify buying a big metal cutting bandsaw. I mean, that's an expensive piece of equipment and they're so huge. But this, having the ability to use it, I, I have a tool now that I could use out in the field, portable, you know, really good for cutting rebar, cutting whatever, uh, and something I can use in the shop for doing precise work, even doing scroll work. If I wanted to, you know, I've never had the ability to cut a radius in anything like a piece of aluminum or sheet metal or anything that cut precisely like this. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, so you definitely want it mounted down to a bench or something. You know, I just clamped it down here temporarily. There you can see the shavings but it really cuts. So that's great. I'll put a link to Troy's site. This is not a paid endorsement. Um, apart from uh, Troy gave this to me as a gift. He didn't, there was no expectation of a video. I did this because I wanted to. I did it because I wanted to help an old friend and I did it because I wanted to show a product that I think is, is excellent and, and would help any of you guys that have small fabricating shops or doing anything like that. I'm not saying that this is a an essential homeowner tool but if you like to weld and you like to fabricate and you need to cut material in a really compact affordable package i mean this is really nice really put well well put together all right good job troy thanks a lot and uh oh, visit troy's site swag off road i'll put a link in the in the subject this is the just the beginning the tip of the iceberg he's a very prolific inventor and he has got some clever, clever stuff that he comes up with. I mean, some guys are just made like that. I wish I was more like that. I wish I had that creativity to have these ideas and bring them to fruition like this because this is, I mean, it's just extraordinary. It's really, really cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Pretty clever tool. Really is, um, uh, really is something that I would um, use a lot around here. I've put uh, the table and the uh, Inkra Ruler miter gauge in my store, wranglermart.com. If you'd like to go over there and take a look at those, your purchases are always appreciated. Help support the channel. And don't forget to thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.